hi guys welcome back to the movies and tv shows recommendation and what's my jam so what have i been watching or listening to this week first on my list can be found on netflix it's called killing eve i love this series so so much especially the characters villanelle eve constantine caroline and who else I think those were the characters that I really, really fell in love with and they kept me on my toes. Especially Villanelle, she really, really bodied the character. She really gave that psychopath, that serial killer. She was just a good fit for the camera and I truly, truly love her sense of fashion. I just love her um, fashion or her outfits throughout the movie. It's a series, not a movie. It's a series that has four seasons. Yeah, it has four seasons. It's a really, really interesting series, guys. It has to do with um, someone who works with the MI6, I think underground operation, not um, um, not, a, no, not the usual or the normal MI6 operation, it's underground. So they were all for catching um, a female serial killer and she's actually a psychopath as well which in turn turned to be like a love triangle and <laughs> guys the character villanelle is just something else she really, really played the character so well and the betrayal the games the the whole guys it's just so so interesting so so interesting even the love triangle between eve her husband villanelle or I would even say between Villanelle and Eve. And then we have Constantine and Caroline as well. And then I think Raymond. Raymond was a guy who was up to Villanelle's level or someone who was a bit more crazy than her. But at the end, she still ended up killing him. So <laughs> Villanelle is such a character, guys. And yeah like i always say i don't spoil it for you guys and if i find out that you guys are not watching this series <laughs> if i find out that you guys are not watching this series then maybe i'm just going to be spoiling it so maybe that will also give you guys a push to go and watch it but yeah killing eve is a must watch add it to your list and then the next will be gentlemen i really love this show of course i've been seeing it on people's snapchat twitter instagram it's been everywhere and it's really a good watch when i started watching it i was so sure i wasn't going to finish this series because of the character freddy my god freddy was such such an annoying character from season up from episode one it's actually a limited series as well i think it has eight episodes if i'm not mistaken from episode one i was so sure i would not finish this series because i just could not take freddy shenanigans anymore he was getting <laughs> but it's really 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 a good good watch and i really love um what's her name what's her name let me check her name guys i always know their names but when it's time to to shoot the video i forget so permit me yeah Susie Glass, I really, really love Susie's fashion sense. I was even telling someone that I wish after movies they could like, for someone like Susie, they could link her a wardrobe for people like me who are interested to get them. So yeah, I really, really loved her fashion sense. Everything about this series was, it's really, really nice. You should give it a watch. And then last for netflix would be bandidos i don't know if i'm pronouncing it correctly it's called bandidos and that was actually a very good watch as well it was also a limited series that had seven episodes if i'm not mistaken really nice guys really nice um for the other side which is flick store what i've been watching would be bob hats abishola it's on flick store and it released um episodes weekly i really really love bob hats abishola i just love the comedy the humor i love dotty which is bob's mom very 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 funny character his sister christine and his brother i can't remember his bob's brother's name abishola as well like the whole is just interesting guys give it a watch if you haven't and then Family Guy as well. I've been catching up with Family Guy. I've been watching it ever since. And they release episodes weekly. So I've been catching up with Family Guy. And Family Guy is insane. It's an insane show, guys. 
Like they keep shading everyone. Everyone is collecting stray bullets. <laughs> They keep crossing the line and it's just so funny and amusing to watch and next on the list will be the cleaning lady the cleaning lady is such an amazing series guys really really amazing and i'm currently on season three which is the latest season um it stops at season three episode three which was this week's uh episode that was episode three it has to do with just like the name implies cleaning lady she actually cleans but she's a doctor she studied uh medicine and she's actually a doctor but she flew in from mexico to the united states and because of papers permits legality she wasn't able to practice the medicine and she has a child that has a heart condition and we all know heart conditions are not an easy thing to deal with financially mentally whichever way and of course she's not well to do like I said, she's not able to even practice the medicine and she's just left with cleaning. And unfortunately, one day she happened to witness a murder and she was forced to clean the blood and everything. And from that time on, she bargained for her life that if you don't kill me, I'm going to help you clean. So from that time on, like some sort of a, like a cartel or a drug lord started using her to clean all the murders or the killings that he's doing and guys she just keeps getting more and more and more and more into big troubles like so much troubles that after a while i'm just like this woman really 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 needs a light at the end of the tunnel because it's just too much for one human being guys it's just it's really it's really a guys just give it a watch i'm not exaggerating no exact it's truly interesting and then last on the list would be grace anatomy so the first three can be found on netflix and then this last three can be found on flick store so grace anatomy i'm sure a lot of you know grace anatomy since i started watching grace anatomy from season one i've been with them till today and of course they do take hiatus or breaks and they come back so they just um launched or released their latest season which is season 20 and here we go again with shonda rhymes grace anatomy actually is the only time i cry guys only time i cry <laughs> they just know how to you know <sighs> guys to an extent that sometimes i don't like to watch it because i know it's so difficult to get past an episode without crying that's just shonda rhymes doing that's just watch i think i don't know she just wants us to cry so yeah <laughs> i've been watching grace anatomy i really love grace anatomy and yeah this is what i've been watching and if you've watched anyone please guys let me know in the comment section or if you have any movie or tv show you want me to check out please just leave it in the comment section and yeah these are tv shows and do i have any movie here actually i think all for today are tv shows they are really really amazing watch so let's get into what's my jam what i've been listening this week first on my list i've been listening to would be taliban's by bonaboy i don't know i just love that song for some reason i don't know i just feel or oh, the first time the album came out when i was listening to it because sometimes when i'm listening to a song i try to go into the mind frame or the time frame at which that song was recorded you know trying to process the emotions or the thoughts that the artist was going through while recording i don't know how to explain but something along that line and for taliban at some point you know he was like um um he, he will buy more now because he's too rich now and i just took it that he's just you know boxing in his peak you know he's enjoying his hard work or enjoying what he has been able to achieve i don't know he's just giving me good vibes and i love the song and guys months later i came to discover that there was a whole drama <laughs> or a whole saga behind this song and i'm just like come to think of it i've just been listening to this song without really dipping the lyrics until the drama came up and so that's what i still love the song regardless of the drama i just love taliban so much it's just a good it just i vibe to it is interesting next on my list would be only me by asha k guys I don't think there's any week that goes by that I don't listen to Asha K's song. At least two or three. And the problem is once I start listening to his song, I just cannot listen to one or two and 
keep moving except maybe i create a playlist maybe i want to walk or i want to take it my i want to take my bath then i could maybe include two or three here and there but i don't think there's any week that passes by without me listening to mr money <laughs> so i've been listening to only me and i love only me so much because i feel only me is just that song that ashake is just you know boxing in his peak as well once more he's just enjoying the life that he has been able to um acquire or be able to achieve up until this moment you know i just love the i just love the lyrics the whole vibe you know it's just it's just built on good vibes and and good vibes hard work consistency you know the payout so it's just a beautiful song in my opinion i just love the song so much then next on my list would be 100 million by Udumodu black and tiwa savage i love that song because tiwa is trying something new and of course the internet or oh, the song is three the song is this the song is that guys learn to give people grace this is the first time tiwa savage is releasing a song like this that she's even you know rapping and i feel no matter who you are anything you start first you cannot be perfect at it or you cannot be good at it with time you get good at it and it's really not a big deal it's good to experiment it's good to try different things you never can tell so yeah i love that she was able to go out of her comfort zone and i was able to try something new and different and in fact, I think the the more criticisms I hear of it on Twitter, the more it makes me fall in love with the song. And you know, I who doesn't love a girl boss? You see that line that she said, "100 million is an insult." <laughs> yeah, I relate to that line so much. I just love girl bosses, you know. 100 million is an insult. Yeah, you know, I I feel like we all need to strive to get to a point where the same way money or um limited resources has dealt with us we should all reach that part or that point in our life where we actually use less money not spend it um anyhow or you know uh, going bankrupt or <laughs> finishing your money no in the sense that money is nothing to you do you understand like that is the that is the part i want to reach in this life i want to dominate money i don't want to make money i want to dominate money to have that power over money so you know that line 100 million is an insult yeah i love it girl boss i just love i admire women who are bosses and for the next i have roller coaster by bonner boy i love the song so much because in a way it also applies to me and i'll say everyone that let me see the lyrics of roller coaster that i like is bonner boy said this life is a gift from the most hijack that is why i'm thankful for all i have and i'm a firm believer of that like i i think like that and then he went on to say what i've seen in this life or my experience in this life is so much but i keep keeping it all in because it's like a roller coaster and people human beings are just like roller coaster my life is just like a roller coaster and it's so so true so so true and i think i can speak for everyone that we all have our stories to tell and there are so many things that a lot of us just keep it within us and as we all know man 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 is just unpredictable men are just like roller coasters and i'm not talking about men like the gender men and when i say men i'm referring to both male and females so yeah human beings and our life is just a roller coaster individually differently we all have different journeys different things happening at different points in time so yeah i just love the song and the next one on my list will be Shazam by Shea Vibes. I love that song so much. The beat as well. I just love songs like that. And then for the lyrics of um, Shazam by Shea Vibes, he said, Every man has his season. And I believe that so, so much. I believe in that so much in the sense that most times when you could see me today posting myself going to a vacation in ridiculous places, spending a ridiculous amount of money, but we tend to forget that that could be my own season of reaping you know that could just be my own season where i get to experience plenty and you are at home watching me behind the screen it's like oh she has it all together she's living the life and 
but you'll be so surprised that maybe prior to that for like maybe a full year or even more than a year i was just at home doing nothing not being able to do all of this and yeah just try and have it at the back of your mind before you go or before you spiral your mind out of control comparing yourself to others just always remember that everyone has a season and the person you could be admiring today is just that that person is just in their season and nothing so much that would make you feel so bad and depressive about your life and you should also wait for your turn when they say no matter how bad things get there's always a light at the end of the tunnel it's not a lie it is not friction or it's not just something people say guys it's really really true just like i would say happiness and sadness they go hand in hand you cannot always be at the rock bottom there's a day where everything will make sense and things will just happen to you don't you find it funny that believers of christ non-believers of christ we all have times and seasons it's just the way life is it has nothing to do with being religious being a follower of christ it's just the way life is there's always a time for plenty and time for little so i just love songs like that and i just want to encourage you that before you spiral by seeing someone's life jumping into comparison um talking down on yourself and your journey just always remember that sometimes that person could just be in their season and the same way someone else is in their season and you're not in your season when you're also in your season there are other people that will not be in their season so yeah back to the lyrics it says every man has his season oh i reason i know it's not easy but it's going to be easy that part is in yoruba so i'm just trying to um translate it for you guys so it says i know it's not easy but it's going to be easy you feel my rhythm, Shazam the rhythm. When my mates are walking, I can't be sleeping. So yeah, I really, really love lyrics like that. Try your possible best, no matter what it is, try to do something. Just try to do something, you know. When your mates are walking, you shouldn't be sleeping. <laughs> sometimes when I get lazy, I just tell myself that and sometimes it works. I get up to do what I need to do. Next on my list will be Kana by the same Shea Vibes. I love that song so much and uh, yeah i just love the lyrics the beats yeah it's just one of those songs that is like a good vibe you know so i love that song next on my list would be time flies by Bernard boy featuring salty soul i love that song so much and the lyric says time flies like a thief in the night we all got a story to write so darling jump in the ride before the train is gone I just love the song so much it just i don't know for some weird reason the song encourages me and the lyrics doesn't really have so much encouragement but in a weird way it actually encourages me and it's just when i listen to it it's just like time flies like a thief in the night as you're going you feel nothing is working out before you know a year has gone by and you discover that that thing that you're putting in every day little by little by little before you know you've actually been able to put out so much so i guess that's how i'll just explain my life for it then there's a new song by wizard chan i love that song it's called lona he featured joe boy i love the song and the lyrics says i am a loner or oh, i'll say this lyrics actually describes my person so that is why i love the song it says i am a loner I am a one-man soldier. Only me can watch my shoulder. Cause only me knows what's on my mind. I don't know what's on another person's mind. I am steady focusing on my race because I know nobody will feel my pain. If I make mistake or if I fail, nobody okay, he's saying like nobody will feel his pain if he should make mistake or if he should fail. So that is why he cannot fail. And I just wish we all can you know dip into lyrics like this and hold on to things like that that nobody will feel your pain no matter what mistake or the failure that comes so that is why you cannot feel because only you know what it really is or what your journey has been and then he went on to say many men try to deceive me so many men try to oppress me so many men try to test me but they can't kill my energy it's very hard to be forgiven when I didn't do anything. So I just focus on my own thing and I don't let anyone distract me. So yeah, that is why I love the song. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then next would be Liar by Justin Timberlake featuring Fireboy. I'm a fan of Fireboy. I love anything or most things he put out. So yeah, 
I I'm happy for him that you know he got a feature by Justin Timberlake and the song is actually nice. I love the song. And last on my list would be In Your Hands by Harley. I love that song so much. It's such a beautiful song. The video, the lyrics, the voice, everything is just when they say a song is beautiful, that is an example of a beautiful song. So yeah guys, that's it for me this week. This is what I've been listening to and should I go take my bath after this video? <laughs> These are the songs I was still listening to. So yeah, that's just what I've been listening to. And guys, if you have any song, any movie, any TV show, anything you want me to watch, leave it in the comment section and I'll get to it. I'll definitely check it out. Definitely, definitely. So yeah, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and don't forget to actually watch the things I'm sharing with you guys, the movies, the TV shows, the music. So yeah, thank you so much and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.